everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. My name is Johnny Culean, and thank you so much for watching and subscribing to JK in Public. Welcome back to another video and episode of I Talk A Latte. In this video, I want to share a little story that happened to me today, which made me sort of reflect because I feel like this is something important that we should all be able to understand. And the subject line of this video is thoughtfulness consideration and awareness. So today I went to the dentist, found out I grind my teeth a lot at night. And what happens when you grind your teeth, you actually end up deteriorating your enamel. And so now I have to wear a night guard every night. Now, in addition to that, the dentist tells me you are gonna have to get yourself a crown because one of your teeth actually got cracked because of your late night grinding. Now, I was worried because I had never gotten any kind of procedure beyond cavity filling. So for me, hearing that I have to get a crown, I have no idea what to expect. Am I gonna have a lot of pain? Because if there's one thing that really bothers me a lot in life is health pain. But I knew that I had to get it done because if it wasn't for the crown, it would be for a future root canal. And I do not want to go through that. <laughs> so here is where I want to tell you guys about educating yourself and preparing yourself so you can know what to expect. So in this case, it was me going to the dentist and not really knowing what a crown procedure involves. And this can go with anything, whether you're buying yourself a new car or whether you're buying yourself a house or you're just trying to get some kind of service for your shoes. You want to know what is being done done for your service because <laughs> if you don't understand they won't understand and you might just not be happy with the way things are being communicated and delivered and that's exactly what happened today for me so I'm at the dentist the dental assistant removes the temporary crown I immediately feel sensation coldness it was not pleasant and she gets the official crown and starts to insert it I don't know I just kind of start like I'm like I'm not liking this when I told the dental assistant can you please numb my mouth I don't I don't tolerate it well the dental assistant actually was behaving in a particular way that I did not appreciate and like for this example we're gonna use my keys this is gonna be the plate where the dentist put their tools onto the steel plate so when I told the dental assistant hey could you please numb my mouth so I can try to avoid as much sensitivity and pain as possible she gets her dental appliance the way she just did it her energy was just like aggressive and I just didn't appreciate that the second she did that she made me uncomfortable I didn't want to bring it up immediately so I decided to keep my cool and she actually called over the dentist and the dentist told me hey so the reason why we normally don't suggest numbing your mouth when implanting an official crown onto your tooth when we ask you to bite down so we can see how comfortable your bite is we won't be able to know and you won't be able to know because your mouth is numb and then I told him, oh, okay, I understand now. That makes much more sense. I had no idea what I was getting into, and this is my first time ever getting a crown. So for me, this is a big deal. You guys probably do this 100 times a day, but I don't know what I'm getting myself into, and when it comes to pain, I don't tolerate it well. So if I overreact, you guys are gonna overreact. So they understood that, but I needed to clarify that and let them know because I told them I wasn't informed, you guys didn't tell me, and now you tell me because I brought it up. So all this being said, there was a lack of consideration for what was going on. The dental assistant didn't really think about myself. Maybe she just thought more about just doing her job. Sometimes that can really make me paranoid because, hey, it's not just a job. You're literally trying to take care of someone's well-being in their life and their health. So a mixture of thoughtfulness with consideration and awareness that, hey, let's think about how we're acting, what we're doing, and how we're responding because that can have a direct effect on someone else and they might not even ever want to bring it up I however always somehow figure out a way to uh, respond in a proper and respectful manner which was great because they understood and the dental assistant then told me after I told her my issue she told me I understand I go through a similar situation as well so I just wanted there to be something to be able to relate to and have them understand like hey you guys got to try to make your patients feel comfortable all that being said I hope that the message that you can get off this video is whether it's you or other people try to be more thoughtful considerate understanding and aware of your circumstances and your given situation if you feel like you're the one that wants to inform someone about the issues that's going on inform them just think about the words don't let your emotions get to you if you think about it in this way you have control to say what you want and do what you want so if you realize that you already have that control over yourself 
make sure that control, in a sense, regulated, that you do it in the proper way. Because if you go over your limit, it won't make you happy in the end, and it won't make the other person happy. You want to be respectful. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm excited to share with you some new stories about the interactions and experiences I have in the public with JK in public. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you soon. Peace.